Hi, yeah. right. um, welcome to Albert Pool Beach Resort and Boat Harbor Marina. We've kept the name Boat Harbor because so many people know it. It's so it's so well known a long, long time ago. We honor history here. This place is a sea of ocean, uh, sea of Abaco and surrounding islands for 90 miles, forming a very protected waterway, so to so to speak. Very Bahamian in its way. Uh, lots of little uh, hotels and restaurants. Lots of lovely beaches where you can be alone if you wish. And lots of party. Lots, many, many second homeowners have built here. In fact, there's more second homeowner so-called hotel rooms than there are actual hotels. Um, it was a secret for many years. It, it, it really started to grow after World War II. Uh, when RAF pilots used to fly over here when they were stationed in Nassau and used to fly over the Abacos as part of their training before they went to Europe to go fight Hitler. Uh, when, they, when the war was over, the aristocracy used to be the pilots of the day back in England. And so they were the aristocracy after the war. They remembered these places and Green Turtle Key Club was started by Charlesworth, a very wealthy family. There's places in Two places in uh, Green Turtle Key, there's places here in, in uh, Hopetown, etc., that grew up from that. It was the hidden gem in, in the four, late, late 40s, 50s, Hopetown, etc., that grew more development came into place. Uh, this particular place started in the 55. It was a wooden 20 story hotel. Uh, the marina was a totally separate property, belonged to the ferry people, the people that had the ferry dock and Leonard Thompson started uh, came in later after the after the first hotel had burned down and in 78 he built rebuilt out of concrete the 20 rooms and the main structure up there that is now our lobby and restaurant um, the Sweeting family a very prominent family out of the Baham, out of Nassau moved here in 85 and started to develop it father and grandfather and uh, took on different interests. They bought the marina property and the young Sweeting liked boats more, so he had a bigger share of the marina. The grandfather had a bigger share of the hotel. It was a time when there was uh, some needing some confusion. I had came in in 93 and we, uh, I, I only would come in if I was a majority. And I would only come in if um, we tied the two properties together, which we did, and then we continued to add on to it periodically. It has grown. Uh, the the, um, the Allen family was instrumental, together with uh, a lady called Penny Turtle, with the Sweetings, and started some of the original tournaments. And you will see in our little museum type thing that we're starting here that the Allen family, especially Jody, and then Lewis later, uh, were very prominent in the early days of the tournament days. And we just continued to grow. And being central, easy access to airport and groceries and hardware stores, etc., but also the playground. We call this the big playground. And uh, fishing, whatever fishing you like, whether it be bone fishing, deep sea fishing, still fishing, Spare fishing, <laughs> and then beaching and partying. And partying is taking over now. You got nippers, you got hamburgers in paradise, and many other fun things to do, which sometimes is overwhelming. But each to their own, and people come for many, many different reasons and men memories. People form, form memories. Their children come and have a great time, and then later on, they want to bring their children or get married here or what have you. So. We, it's it's home. It's a it's a beautiful place near enough to Florida and, and a decent air airlift uh, connections. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> yes, Florida.